G'day guys and welcome to part two of how to make your Android phone look and feel as much like an iPhone as possible. All right, let's get straight into it. Okay, the next app I'm gonna show you is called Heads Up Notification. So this is here. And basically what this emulates is that little black box that comes down on iOS that um, lets you know when you've got a notification. And also it, it emulates the interactive notification um, side of things as well. So for example, I'm just gonna hit test in this app. And you see that little black box pops down. And if I pull down on that, you can see now some options come up. So just here, it's it's got settings for me. But if an email comes in, I can slide down and there's a and there's a quick reply there. And there's also a um, delete option there. Um, and, and with my messaging system, um, I can tap the notification. It brings up my quick reply from the app. And um, yeah, look, this thing is really good. I use this every day. Um, and but one thing I'll say is I'm not too sure if it works with iNoti. Um, I've been getting some notifications um, in the midst of filming this video and I haven't seen them pop down. It works here when you do the test, but um, I'm not too sure if it works when you use a different status bar. So you'll have to try that one out yourselves if you like iNoti, but um, yeah, I don't use iNoti, so it works perfect for me. The other thing I'll say is that you can theme this. So I think initially it comes up with um, the light look or it's white, I think, but I've made mine plain dark. And I think, yeah, I've, I've just brought the opacity down a little bit. Um, and I, I think that that emulates the iOS look more so than, um, than what you get it as default. But um, again, you can, you can have it as whatever you want. And yeah, that's a really cool app and I really recommend it. It's called Heads Up Notification and it's free on the Google Play Store. Okay, the next app I'm gonna show you is one that I really recommend and it's called Texture SMS and I'm also gonna show you Texture iOS Emojis. Um, so these two apps work together and you can probably guess what that is because I've mentioned it a couple of times already and it's my messaging app. Now, just quickly, this isn't how it looks when you get it. It doesn't say messages below it and it doesn't have this green icon. I've used iLauncher, like I said before, I've tapped on it, I've changed the icon and I've changed the title, um, but so I've, I've just made it so it's a little bit more recognizable to me and to other people who use my phone. But if I open this up, you can see you've got your list of uh, messages there and you can, I'll just jump into this test conversation that I've had with myself. And yeah, basically I've set this up to have a blue theme and um, I, I think it emulates the iOS messages app really well. Um, so you've got your timestamp of, of when new conversations have started. And if I just drag across, you can see individual times of all the sent and received messages. If I just go back to the main screen here, you can see actually if I slide across, there's a quick toggle to call that contact. And if I slide back the other way, there's a quick toggle to delete. Now I know that's not quite iOS, but it's got that similar functionality, that really nice design where it's all built in, it's all integrated. And I really like it for that reason. If I just jump up here to settings, you can customize the look. So like I said before, I've made mine the color theme of iOS. So if you jump to theme color, I've picked this blue. I think that's closest to iOS. And then I've matched the received color blue. So that's the messages I get. And I've the sent messages, I've made a gray because that's what it looks like when you're using iOS. So that's the options that I use. Um, you also have to turn dark mode off and, um, and that'll just leave it nice and white. And the other thing I mentioned before was the uh, emoji style that you can change. So if you download the app called Texture SMS iOS Emojis, that will mean that within Texture you can enable the iOS emoji look. Now, it can be a little bit confusing because the keyboard you'll use, um, you know, uses Android emojis, but, um, but Texture will convert them as you put them in. So you'll just have to kind of translate them a little bit that way. Now, the other thing um, that I've mentioned is that it comes with a quick reply and quick compose. And I love this app for this reason, because I feel like that kind of emulates the iOS style. So down here in the notification panel, I hit quick compose and I've got my favorite contacts here. You just click them or you can just type a contact name, you type your message. And it's very similar with the quick reply as well. And if you once you're done or if you don't want it, you can just slide it away, which I think is a really cool looking feature. And um, yeah, so that's Texture SMS as well as Texture SMS iOS emojis. Both are free on the Google Play Store. This is the best messaging app that I've used so far. 
The next one is called Wonderlist and a um, Wonderlist. I don't know how however you say it. And basically, what this is is the closest thing that I think that emulates iOS reminders. Now, again, I've been a bit tricky here. I've changed this app icon and the text underneath it says reminders and it's got a bit of a different icon. That's not how it is when you download it. But anyway, if we jump in here, it actually, it's a little bit different on the main screen. But if I add a new list, and I'm just going to call it good. Call it good. And so now, really, from here, it looks exactly like iOS. So I can just say trash, tick that, and then it adds it down here. And then I can go in, set a due date, put it as today, put a reminder, and you can have a repeat as well. So you can do it every one day, week, month, years, or change that to whatever you want. And you can see, actually, see, that's the uh, good example of what uh, Heads Up Notification does. So it's got interactive notifications, so I can complete that or I can snooze it. And um, yeah, that's really cool. And so you just swipe that away. And once you're done, you just tick it off. And then it keeps that completed items list down there and you can untick it to put it back. That really, for me, is why I've got this app is because it's got that it's got that similar look and feel to iOS reminders and it's just really simple and that's what I want in a reminders app. And I also got it because it's got that interactive notification feature um, with heads up notifications. When I've used other apps, they have their own pop-up and that's okay, but I just like everything to be integrated and to look nice like that. Okay, the next app that I'm gonna show you is called Caller Screen Dialer. It's free on the Google Play Store. Um, and basically here it is. So if I swipe over, this is what it does. It emulates that dialer screen of an iOS device. Um, now, I used this for a little bit when I first got this phone because I really like this look. It's just simple and I really don't like the look of the default Android KitKat caller screen. Um, so yeah, look, you can, um, you can dial your numbers and it all works fine. Um, you've got your list of contacts here, you've got the keypad and then over here when it says voicemail, it jumps to a menu, I think. And this is the other thing I'll say, it's, it's full of ads, this thing. So, okay, it's got some default messages. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so basically you can get the ads free version. If you get a favorite, you've got some favorites as well, but it always brings up an ad. So obviously, um, this app seems to be the best and the most reliable to what's on there. Um, but if I, let's see if this, what happens if I hit call. So it's quite laggy, first of all, and it's actually the calls in progress, but it's still on this call screen. So if I slide down here, here's the phone. So I'm going to hang that up. That's just my voicemail. But um, yeah, look, it's a little bit glitchy like that. It just sometimes it, it shows the default call screen um, from Android. Sometimes it doesn't. And it's a little bit messy. And so for that reason, I don't really use it. If they were able to fix that glitch and, and if you're somehow able to make this your default caller screen, then I'd love it because I really like the look of it. But um, for the reason it's a little bit glitchy, I can't really handle that when I'm, when I'm making calls. You can't really deal with glitchiness. So um, that's why I don't use that. And finally, this is um, just a small little app for those who are, are really pretentious about getting it exactly like iOS. And this is called Calculator Pro. Even though it says pro, it's free on the Google Play Store, but it does have ads. So basically this emulates the, the iOS calculator. Again, like I said, it's got ads. You can buy it. Can't quite remember how much it is. But yeah, apparently if you flip it landscape mode, it um, goes into scientific mode. But again, it's got ads. It does the trick. Um, and it actually, it looks way better than the Android calculator, but I can't really justify spending a couple of bucks on just a calculator when they both do the same thing. So that's the... Uh, Calculator Pro, and that's free on the Google Play Store. Okay, guys, I hope that that was um, kind of helpful for you. I, I watched a lot of these sort of videos when I first um, was thinking about getting an Android phone just to know if, if it would be able to make the transition a little bit easier. But a lot of them just listed the apps. They didn't give you um, any kind of tips or tell you what was buggy about them. So hopefully you found this helpful. Um, I'm actually going to do another video on top of this that um, is for those with rooted Android phones. Um, I'm going to show you how to get the iOS 8 reachability feature. And, um, and I'm also going to show you how to switch your emojis over for the whole device on your keyboard and everything, which I have found to be super helpful. So subscribe to see those videos when they come out. Um, and guys, look, you know, I'm fishing for ideas for tutorials. Um, you know, I do a bunch of them. I do Final Cut Pro, After Effects, GarageBand, 
DIY sort of stuff like this and uh, I'd love you to give me any ideas that you might have for, for tutorials for what you want to see, for what you want to learn. But thanks for watching this and um, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.